Hi and welcome for part two of this series on the face tracking camera mini. In this video, we are going to see how to put together the different mechanical parts. Let's dive straight into it. The first step will be to fit the camera holder arm on the upper bracket using the axle lens. Make sure the short axle end is screwed on the side of the holder arm with the groove. It can be a little bit tricky to get the first one aligned, so take your time. When this is done, make sure all the parts move freely but without any excessive play. Next, if your camera has a leg or a stand, remove it. Then slide a few rubber bands over its USB cable. Grab the part we just assembled and then attach the camera onto them using the remaining rubber bands. Make sure the rubber bands sits on the back of the holder arm and not the axle like I did here. We are now going to fit the pan servo. Bend its wire around its bottom, then bend the camera cable to make it fit the groove of the upper bracket. Lock the camera cable and the servo wires between the upper bracket and the bottom of the servo. Then screw the servo to keep everything in place. We can now screw the tilt servo to the upper bracket. Now we are going to fit the lower bracket and screw both servos onto it. We can now take care of the base, grab the stand and screw it on the case. We can then screw the servo horn on the stand and then trim the excess length. Okay, don't be an idiot like me and make sure you fit it the right way around from the start. We will now create a rod to connect the tilt servo horn to the camera holder arm. Straighten the paper clip Once you have a straight piece of wire, create a couple of 90 degrees bends about 30 meters apart and remove the excess length. Fit one end of the rod in the pinhole located on the side of the camera holder arm.
and slide the tilt servo horn on the other side. We will need to set up the Arduino before bolting the horn on the servo. Next, we are going to bolt the upper assembly onto the case. I am going to mark the tilt servo to make it easier to easily identify each servo when we will wire them to the Arduino. We can then fit the servo wires through the stand hole. Bolting the last servo horn can be a little difficult. The easiest is to drop the bolt into the horn using a magnetic screwdriver. Once the bolt is in place, just fit the upper assembly on the horn and bolt it through the stand hole. Ok, we are nearly done with the mechanical part. Now we need to set up the servos before finishing it and for this we will need to sort out the wiring first. And this is what we are going to do in the next video.